Gibson sunglasses, now 50% off at Apollo. I always think of shaved heads, thick necks, navy suits, and Ray-Bans. But those closed protection officers are responsible for the safeguarding of musicians, politicians, executives, and movie stars alike. Using a threat assessment and thorough advanced work, bodyguards determine the level of risk and what, if any, the direct and indirect threats are. You've heard stories of Lindsay Lohan getting chased, you know, down a street, you know, and getting into a car accident. Which is why the business also comes with some grave risks. Take a dangerous situation Derek encountered while protecting rapper Ja Rule. There was an incident that happened whatnot in a venue that we were at, and a customer decided that, you know, he wanted to take a shot at one of the celebrities I was working with. And it ended up escalating into a real big brawl. And in the process of, you know, of dealing with the person, I ended up getting severed open with nine stitches, you know, on my eye. And, I mean, it healed. But you know what? It's, as I said, it's, it's, it's the risk you have to take. You know, for, for dealing with the case as, as, as the judge did, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just sorry about my actions. And, and you know, I pled guilty as, as, you know, as the, my lawyer said and as the judge said. The I said, judge even apologized, saying the disgraceful derogatory comments that provoked the assault are an embarrassment for the city. A hip-hop artist whose real name is Jeffrey Atkins has to pay a $1,500 fine by pleading guilty to a lesser charge. The rapper avoided possible jail time and he'd been convicted of assault causing bodily harm. Ja Rule may still face a civil lawsuit. Thank you very much. And with those brief words, Ja Rule and his entourage pushed through the crowds and headed for a waiting limousine. Problem was, wrong limo. See that? We're in the wrong car here. Where's our car? After a quick break for a coffee, Ja Rule's ride did finally arrive, albeit much smaller and a tighter squeeze for the star and his supporters. Ja Rule cooled his jets at Timothy's while waiting. Toronto. You still do? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because, you know, as the saying goes, one bad apple don't spoil the bunch, you know what I mean? The courtroom was packed with teenagers eager to see the rapper who hails from New York. Entertainment Tonight. The most watched entertainment news program in the world. I will do whatever it takes. Is being a celebrity bodyguard the most dangerous job in Hollywood? Even if it means losing my own life in the process? That's how you can get closer to the stars. Wait. From the one person who knows. To get that autograph. If you want a celebrity signature at TIFF, and tearing at their clothes might not be your best approach. So, we've got some autograph advice from someone who knows the stars the best, a bodyguard. When you talk to a lot of the guys in the Secret Service, they all want to get in the entertainment side. No one knows better than celebrity bodyguard D. Teflon that everyone wants to touch the stars. From Justin Timberlake to Morgan Freeman, the guys that I've worked with over the years, the people that I work with and work for, I consider them my family. Fans can rub elbows with the rich and famous at the Toronto International Film Festival and just play it cool. If you are in a nightclub in an event, wait, you know, wait until they're leaving, you know, to get that autograph. You want a piece of me. If you are respectful and you come to me respectful, if I'm able to do it, then I'll get you. And you might want to research which stars to approach. Autograph Magazine says the most fan-friendly celebs include Johnny Depp, Matt Damon, George Clooney, Jack Nicholson, and Katherine Heigl. Some clients, yes, they want to be touching the fans, hugging the fans, kissing the fans. However, pick your moment carefully. If you're in a restaurant and 
you see a client by himself eating food, don't approach the client. Wait until they're leaving the restaurant. And the best way to meet your favorite celebrity is in a controlled environment, like an autograph signing. But remember, just be polite. It's the ones that are relentless, that, you know, be rude, be ignorant. A client, bottom line, is not going to respond to that.